Hey everyone, Adam at Media here, and in this video we are going over a game-changing lavalier microphone trick. Lavalier microphones are very common in the video production and filmmaking industries, and if your projects like mine revolve around testimonials or interviews, you undoubtedly have a lavalier microphone in your kit. They're lightweight, they're easy to use, and they allow for hands-free audio capture. These microphones get clipped onto lapels or ties or collars, and one of the things that I want to go over today is kind of a game changer in, in doing this. It's going to potentially save your shoots because it's going to make it a lot easier for you to mic up your talent. You're going to be able to do it quicker and you're not going to have to mess with a loose collar or something like that. So, and this is universal for pretty much anything that you're going to want to do, whether you've got a collared shirt, um, you know, a loose woman's blouse or something like that, or even a t-shirt. And the only thing you're going to need is one of these itty bitty binder clips. So most women's outfits don't have collars, and in a lot of cases, you might find the fabrics are not as sturdy as they are for men's clothing. Clipping a mic on can cause the fabric to hang awkwardly or droop inward, neither of which look good for the talent. For scenarios like this, you'll want to clip the mic where you normally would, near the sternum or close to a collarbone. Disclaimer, obviously before you touch anyone, get their consent and make sure they know exactly what you're doing. We'll keep the cord on the inside by gently tucking it under the edge of the collar, have the talent move their hair if needed, and wind it back towards their shoulder blades. Once you have it back here, you'll just use your clip to keep the cord secured, drape the rest of the cable down their backs, and if it's a wireless system, have them place the receiver in a place that's comfortable to them. This works the exact same way with any shirt that might be a little flimsier, including t-shirts. For shirts with collars or shirts that are tucked in, we'll be using the exact same method, but running the cord underneath the collar around to the back, securing it again with your clip, and letting any excess drape down the back. With this method, you can mic your talent up so much quicker, and there's none of that awkward having them wind the microphone up through their shirt or anything like that. You don't even have to have people untuck their shirts now. All you do, clip it on where you normally would, wind the mic cable back up around towards their shoulder blades, near their spine, clip it there with that little binder clip, and let that cord hang just like you would any other time you're micing up your talent. Do you have any lob tricks that you like to do on shoots? If so, leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I will see you next time. Hair is flipping all over the place.